Hello mates, this is Jay Watson here. I'm going to show you how to insert a very simple JavaScript slideshow into your web page. I have three images already in a folder that I've created on the desktop. Uh, my folder is named simple underscore slideshow. My three images, slide1.jpg, slide2.jpg, slide3.jpg, and come on, we know this is true. Batman is cooler than Superman, and Flash is okay. Uh, these images are all the same size. Just randomly pick these images off the web. Uh, 900 pixels by 275. I'm going to open my text editor of choice, Sublime Text. Actually, I use Notepad++ when I'm on, on a Mac right now. I'm going to go ahead and save this and put a web page file um, in my simple slideshow folder index.html is what we will name that and I will go ahead and get all the necessary tags my doc type html head element let's go ahead and put a title simple slideshow your body tags and we are set to go and see it's want me to purchase it and you know what I probably will but I just downloaded this trial um, what is up with an untimed trial sublime it's great though it really is okay let's go to Google Chrome and let's go to mr. Watson TK and we will click on the web design tab scroll down to the bottom and we have JavaScript slideshow super simple and easy to use Click on this link and scroll down to this bit of code, and it's gonna it's gonna tell us to insert this uh, step one: insert the below code into the head section of your page, and step two: insert this into the body. We're kind of gonna change this up, and I'm very appreciative to uh, JavaScript.com. This is a simple slideshow that my students can use. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, click our cursor into the form field and then press Control A if you're on a PC, Command A if you're on a Mac to select all the text and then Command C or Control C to copy all the text click back on our text editor and we're going to open up a new file instead of having it all in this index.html that would make our code messy uh, so let's open up a new file and let's save it in our simple slideshow folder and let's name it script.js and this will contain our JavaScript uh, paste it into the document and I can go to edit paste or I could what I usually do actually uh, just control V gotta be using shortcut keys let's grab the step 2 code uh, control A control C sublime control V okay uh, so here we are. I'm going to save this. Control S. Hopefully you're doing that. Uh, let's minimize this. Minimize this. Click on our index.html, and we have nothing except that we have our title. You see on the tab. Now let's go back to Sublime and let's start making this work. Okay, we're in our script.js. Remember we created two documents: script.js and index.html. We don't need any HTML within this file. So we're going to this bottom that says this free script provided by uh, JavaScript Kit, which is great. Uh, we're going to take that out as well as the closing script tag and go ahead and take out this comment. It wouldn't matter there. Um, let's uh, notice that we have uh, some uh, an A, an anchor tag here. Now we don't want to take that out just yet. Let's copy all of this closing anchor tag to opening anchor tag. I've selected it all. Uh, control C to copy it. Go back to our index.html. Paste it into the body. And let's change the image source attribute to our slide, which will be slide1.jpg. And before we leave this, let's delete the border width and height. And yeah, you should have designed it at size, folks. Come on. All your slides should be the same size. 
and that says slide1.jpg. Let's go back to our browser real quick. And we have an image. Yay. Uh, back to Sublime. Let's go back to our script.js. And let's delete the rest of the HTML. Uh, we want to delete what we just copied as well as uh, all the script tags here. You can see what I'm deleting. Uh, go up to the top. We need to delete the opening script tag. Uh, JavaScript image slideshow, we don't have to worry about that. Let's comment it out. And so there are some uh, slideshow, or there are some functions that have been created for us. Slideshow links, slideshow images. If you don't understand JavaScript, which you probably don't, if you're uh, watching this tutorial, that's fine. Um, you just have to do a little bit of editing here. So what I'm going to do is take a sip of coffee. It's really too late for me to be drinking coffee. Uh, and we're going to delete all of these uh, URLs out of the slideshow links function. Don't forget to add your closing parenthesis back. And let's go ahead and delete all of these images out of food1.jpg. Okay? So we need to replace that with our images. Now here's the thing. You can use single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter. Uh, in JavaScript, I'm going to actually use single quotes, quotes, and I'm going to put my images uh, within the slideshow images uh, function. I'm going to plug them in as the parameters. So slide one dot jpg, and it's surrounded by quotes. It has to be surrounded by quotes. It has to be. Then a comma outside of the quotes. I'm going to go ahead and space to make it more readable, and create quotes again. Slide to .jpg. Uh, again, it has to be surrounded by quotes, comma, and slide 3.jpg. Save this, and let's go back to our index.html, and let's link to our script file. And we're going to go script type equal JavaScript or text forward slash javascript and src source equal what was our script named script.js close that now we need our opening tag or closing script tag and we'll close our script tag here save this go back to our web browser refresh and we have a slideshow working Superman is cool, Batman is cooler, the Flash is okay. Okay, now let's go back to Sublime Text, and let's go back to the script.js file. Um, I need to be timing this tutorial. Okay, so this slideshow links function, if we wanted to link slide one to a particular, uh, slide one's about Superman, if we wanted to link it to a website URL, uh, to a website, we would need to put the, an address in here. So we could put HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash www dot, and we could link it to the Wikipedia article on Superman, right? Uh, I'll just link it to google.com just to show you how it works. HTTP. The second one is Batman. Let's link it to yahoo.com. The third one is a uh, flash, and let's link it to wikipedia.com. And it needs to work exactly uh, the same way as that I plugged in the images, and it needs to be surrounded by quotes, then a comma, the next one surrounded by quotes. The first parameter within slideshow links will uh, line up with the first one in slideshow images. Second one will line up with the second one, and so on and so forth. And you can plug as many of these in here as you want. Now let's refresh, and we're going to click on Superman, and it will go to Google.com. And you can see it went to Google.com. Now if we click on Batman, it should go to Yahoo.com. And you see we went to Yahoo.com, and you can see that if we clicked on the Flash, it would go to Wikipedia. Uh, now let's go to back to Sublime, and I want to show you another uh, little something that is important, is this, and this is the variable that controls our slideshow speed. This is measured in milliseconds as 
stated in the comments. So that's two seconds. This would be five seconds. This would be point. Uh, five seconds, half second, sorry, string copy. And you see every half second now we're changing slideshows. And you can make this crazy. You can maybe even crash your computer if you're on, on an old machine. Uh, so that's our slideshow, kind of annoying right now. Let's change this to four seconds. That's not a bad time for this. Okay, real quick, let's do some CSS formatting. Okay, so we have a working slideshow. Let's put a div around it. Let's give it an ID of slide wrap, and let's control how this div or this slideshow appears on our page. Okay, so we're going to save this, and we're going to wrap the CSS or we're going to we've wrapped it with a div we wrapped our slideshow with a div and now I'm going to just instead of creating um, no I'll go ahead and create an external style sheet link relationship I'm linking to my style sheet hopefully you've already done some of this type equal text forward slash CSS href equals styles dot CSS okay this is a link to my style sheet saving this control F's Control N to open up a new document. Control S to save styles.css within my simple slideshow folder. Now we're going to slide, we're going to reference our slideshow wrap ID. I'm going to give it a position of relative a width of 900, a height of 275 just where you can see what's happening here let's put a little border three picks solid red <laughs> that's nasty but you'll see let's go and center it where it is on the page center it and oh, oh what do we have do we have an error slide show wrap slide wrap Okay, what am I thinking? And guys, this kind of stuff actually happens all the time. Slide wrap. Save that. Let's refresh. And what do I have now? What's going on, Jay? Wow, did not put a unit of measurement. I must need that coffee. So here we go. Um, we're wrapping our slide here. Um, and we've moved our slideshow to the center of the page. Obviously, you wouldn't want a red border around your slideshow. Uh, make your uh, wrapper the same size as your slides uh, to control it, at least at least for now. That, that'll uh, allow you to control your slideshow. Uh, simple. Um, and there is our slideshow. If you wanted to actually make it responsive, uh, you could set the slide wrap max width to 100% and you could set the height to auto and then we could specify slide wrap image and we could set its max width to 100% and display as block and this should actually make the slideshow a little bit responsive yeah see it made our slideshow actually responsive there. It shrinks with the page and still works. So that's, that's kind of cool. A lot of people like to do that. And yeah, I expect to see that in your Web 1 projects. And that is all. If you have any questions, uh, of course, if you get stuck, you can just uh, rewind this. But have a great day, folks.